Hello and happy May. My name is Stephanie and I am the shop owner with Purposed Papery. To introduce myself for those of you who are new here. And for those of you who are returning, <laughs> thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for your patience with me at it as it has been a bit since I recorded my last YouTube video. Um, actually, it was my Christmas setup and my lush snow. And that was a few days before Christmas. So yeah, it's been a while. Um, it was my plan to be back much sooner. I had wanted to share my 2018 setup with you all. And I will explain why that did not happen. But here we are. And today I will share with you kind of where I am with my planners and what is going to be changing because my lineup is about to change again. And I'm so excited about it because I have some of my very favorite planners. So why I did not come back sooner was I had, um, I had my top, I had my three planners that I had planned to use for 2018. And that was this Filofax Personal Size Croco a B6 to hold my Hobonichi for my everyday memory planning, and then my B6 Lush Snow. So I had wanted to film setups of these three planners once I had them set up, but, um, well, first of all, it takes me a bit to do a setup. Uh, I, some of you are amazing and how fast you're able to do them, <clears throat> Hannah, you, <laughs> um, but then some of us take a little bit longer and I am definitely on that end. I like to take my time with it. Um, I also feel overwhelmed many times because I have so many favorite things that I want to try to stuff in and it's like a puzzle figuring out how to get in as much as possible without <laughs> going way overboard. So I take a bit to, to do a setup and, but before I finished a setup, my planning system changed. So I did manage to set up my, my Filofax Croco. This is my everyday carry and I will be doing a flip of her this video. How, and I've been using her since January and I absolutely have loved her. However, and I did actually do a little setup in my Hobonichi, but I ended up really not using the inserts and I basically only use it for, for, um, I basically only use it for, you know, memory planning and, and that sort of thing. Just like every day, my everyday creative outlet, just to kind of, you know, share, write down what happened that day. But, um, my B6... I had started setting her up and then before I finished I am most of I took most of the die cuts out so there's pretty much nothing <laughs> there's a few dashboards in here but um, before basically before she was finished I learned about personal wide rings thank you very much Carolyn <laughs> um, actually I was so excited to learn that personal wide is very much like a B6. So this was basically combining my two favorite worlds because I love the size of a B6. However, rings have my heart. I started out planning in rings with my Kate Spade when I, when I started, um, you know, creative planning in a winged planner. And then I journeyed into the world of TNs and I love TNs. However, it just wasn't the same. So when I learned about personal wide rings, I knew I had to try them. So my search began for a, a spice foxy fix in personal wide in the salt color, the white. But some of you may know that it's been a very hard planner to find and it has been out of stock with Foxy Fix. 
So I decided to buy a, um, a pre-loved mochi, personal wide, from the Buy Sell Trade group on Facebook. And I have loved her. I have fallen in love with this size. However, <laughs> this setup was not completed. And in fact, I only got my dividers and some papers printed out. And then um, I think I got one dashboard done. <laughs> and I found out about the Stella. This girl is beautiful. She, I love gray, love a light gray color. And this color is stunning. This is in the personal size. And um, I'm going to try the personal wide inserts in the personal size. And I will love her until I, um, I'm able to get my hands on the salt. So I will... I will maybe share a, a flip of the mochi in another video because although she's not finished, I'll show you kind of the, um, I'll show you the, you know, the, um, the basics of the inserts and everything like that and how I, I work with her. But today I am here to show you a flip of my beloved Philo Fox Croco because I will, she's my everyday carry in my wallet, but I will be switching out of her because of this. This is my unicorn, you guys. And my very dear friend, Hannah, found her for me. And I am so grateful. Um, most amazing friend ever, right? Hannah does have an A6 aubergine and she knows that I have wanted one for so, so long, but y'all know that, um, and she's not set up yet. All I have in here are my, um, my dividers, but, oh, and my, well, my inserts, but y'all know that she's hard to find because Julio has decided to change the aubergine and the color is not the same. And because they have been out of stock of this one and because it is such a coveted color, she is very rare and very hard to come by. So I had just kind of decided, you know, I don't the um I don't think I'll ever have my unicorn and that's okay because there are other pretty planners out there. And I had almost come to accept that fact. And then I found out last weekend that she was coming to me and I am just still in shock and so, so grateful. She is so much even more beautiful in person than I could have imagined. And I am so excited that I will be switching into her for my everyday carry and my wallet. And basically she will hold anything that I need on the go. So she will have many of the same things that are in my personal size Croco um, Filofax for right now. So I will be switching into her very soon. But before I did that, I wanted to show you guys a flip of my Croco because I have loved her and um, I love this setup. This is actually a very minimalistic setup for me. <laughs> this is what I consider minimal. And she was actually an easy setup. Um, it took me, I did it, I did her in a, in a day, like an afternoon. So, you know, <laughs> I guess maybe, maybe minimalistic setups are, feel a little less overwhelming, which makes sense, of course, but I have loved her. So I wanted to do a flip of her before I move out and let's get to it. So, and I will explain where things are from. If I miss something or if you want clarification on anything, please feel free to send me a message on Instagram. 
um, at Purposed Papery, and I will certainly help you. I do want to be better at seeing and responding to YouTube comments. And as it is my plan to grow my channel, I do hope to get better at that. But in the meantime, you will get a quicker response <laughs> from me on Instagram. Okay, so first, um, so in this front pocket, I just carry my cash and some coins. Um, although I'm not a big cash, I don't carry a lot of cash with me. So there's not, there's only, you know, not much in there. But that's, that's what this pocket is for. And then this bookmark is from My Newest Addiction. This was a freebie from Plan With Shan on her blog. She's the owner of the Honeybee Shop. She did a bunch of really awesome hand lettering um, words at the start of 2018. So that is from her. This is one of my very favorite die cuts. This is from Banana Doodle Shop, my girl Hannah. I actually have two of these because I love it so much. It will always be in my planner, I think. And then on the inside pocket, we have a die cut from Tickled Pink Planning, some My Newest Addiction stickers, some of my favorites. And then this is a little, this is totally crooked, but I went with it because I didn't have any more of this paper. But, um, I use a doily punch to create the look of the Michaels paper that everyone has because I don't have a Michaels. The closest one is two hours away, so I don't get there very often. So um, that is the purpose behind that. And then I think I have some extra paper in the back as well. The front I love so much and I'm kind of bummed because I literally just cut this down a few days before I found out about the aubergine, but that's okay. Um, I will, I will order some more when I have a chance if, um, planner press restocks it again, but this vellum, how stinking cute is this? I actually ordered it in the B6 size and then I cut it down because I was in my B6 at the time. Um, but then I decided, well, I mean, I'd already been in this, but I wasn't planning to use her for this. Um, but so I cut it down and it worked really great. This is paper from Hobby Lobby, I believe. And then I just printed marble on the back of, or I, well, I, I printed marble and then I glued it to the back of that paper. A Fox and Pip die cut, Simply Gilded Washi, my favorite washi ever. This is a printable from Crossbow Printables. And it's actually a part of their, one of their planner packs, but I love these little quilts. So you will see them throughout this, this planner. Um, I just printed them on vellum. Fortunately, I have an issue with vellum printing or, um, ripping. <laughs> so if you guys have any tips about that, I would love to hear. I'm not sure, um, that this happens. This tends to happen, I guess, you know, when a planner that we flip through regularly, but. I also made these um, dividers and again wanted to keep it very simple and minimalistic. I just printed marble paper and then I, um, you know, I print and then I made the dividers in silhouette, just basic words. And then I put one of my bows. The, these are the bows that are signature to purpose papery. So I put one of the bows there and yeah, um, I love how they turned out. Although I will give you guys a, a tip. Um, you'll see on one of them, I, I, t I actually cut too close with, I, I cut, I didn't give enough of a border and the laminate is actually starting to peel. So a tip if you make your own dividers is to give enough of a border so that that does not happen. So this next insert is a freebie from Annie Plans. It just has my name and address and phone number, email, and um, emergency contact information. 2018 holidays from So Much Crafting, a freebie in her Facebook group. This is an overview of 2018 from wonderful.com. She has a blog with lots of free printables. This is a, a, um, a journaling card that came in my planner press order and I am so obsessed. 
I actually took a bow from her other vellum, her, whom, her New Year vellum that I had in here for a while. I took that bow off and put it here. Um, I saw an idea of some other girls on Instagram that were putting bows on her and putting bows on other top bun, messy bun, top, like messy bun <laughs> um, pictures. So it was like on another piece of vellum like this and I took it off. It was the, um, the planner press vellum. And so I just stuck that there and I love this hot mess express. This vellum is from the planner society planner press. The next are inserts from Annie plans and <laughs> y'all see, I did real good with this, right? So I plan to use this. I thought this would be perfect for tracking the hot and healthy challenge from my girl, Carolyn, Carolyn plans. She actually has a Facebook group that all of us have joined who are doing the hot and healthy challenges. And I had started in March and I was going to track my meals and workouts. I didn't track one day. <laughs> so I'm not sure what I'll be using those for next, but okay. I'm back. Sorry about that. If you noticed, I was a little distracted. Someone has stopped by. So to, I, I'm pretty sure I explained the, how I was, I was intending to use these inserts, but I'm not sure if they will go on to my A6 because I've not, and, and if you all have any other ideas of how you use them, I already have an insert for like bills and it's a great tracking tool. I just need to become more disciplined at tracking. So we'll see. Next is a picture of the Little Lanes. This is Cadence and this is Jameson. And this is actually just in a Foxy, I'm, I'm sorry, a Filofax top loading pocket that I got off of Amazon. This is a pen loop that I made in the Tombow Mono Drawing Pen, which I love for everyday writing in my, my planner. Um, I also love Sharpies and the, um, I actually use some other Tombow pens as well that, um, and then I just, you know, I can, I, I have it all in one if I want to do some, some brush lettering on my, my spread as well. This is Fox and Pip. This is from Banana Doodle Shop. This was actually a piece of vellum and I just printed it larger and cut the flawless out because I loved it. This is vellum from that same pack from the front. Little bows, so cute. Next is the calendar insert. This is a, actually a perpetual calendar. And I don't use the monthly spreads very often. You know, a traditional monthly calendar I don't use all that often. Um, but I love perpetual calendars. And I just write down holidays, birthdays, um, when the kids are sick and out of school, you know, different events, um, doctor's appointments, that sort of thing. So I love just having that right there. It's very simple. Another crossbow printables on vellum. I believe this was also a, um, a planner press vellum. The next section is my finances section. This is a piece of vellum from, this is also planner press. This is my expenses, which I did start in January, but you don't need to see that because, you know, us planner girls. <laughs> um, basically, the purpose of this is, okay, so I, <laughs> my first year of business was 2017. And I was horrible at the bookkeeping part. I, um, yeah, I basically threw receipts in drawers. And come tax time, let me tell you, taxes took me a long time. But I set out to be so much better with them in 2018. And that worked in January. <laughs> I was doing really good and then I fell off. But... I do hope to get back on track with that because having just finished my taxes and submitting them 
on April 15th, like two days before they were due. Um, I know that I need to be much better at bookkeeping this time around. So this is how I intend to use it. When I have an expense that is related to my shop, I will write it down. And if I'm out and about and I have a receipt, well, I don't typically write it down at first if I'm out and about. So say I'm at Hobby Lobby and I purchase something, I will put the receipt in here. And then the next time I'm sitting down with my planner, whether that be at home or at an appointment, I will write down the purchases, amounts, that sort of thing. And then after they're written down, I will put them in the back pocket and for when I then will file them away in a expandable file folder, a plastic one that I purchased from Amazon that has like 12 slots for each month. So I would put all of my January receipts in the one pocket and then February and so on. And that is how I intend to use this. Like I said, I do plan to start keeping track of that again <laughs> so that I'll have a couple of months that won't be as organized, although it would be good a good idea to go back and do that. But um, so that is how I use this, this insert. And I, it's a great system when I implement it. <laughs> so the goal is to, to do that again. This is another vellum from um, Planner Press. And I was at a conference last weekend. I had the honor of speaking at the Southern Planner Social Soiree. And one of the sweet girls at our table had one of the Wink of Stella pens. And I tried it on the vellum and so much fun. I, I definitely want to get one of those. They're so cool. So yeah, this is the pocket, just the, um, the Filofax pocket that I use for the receipts. And then I just have sticky notes on the back, my newest addiction, simply go in, I believe, or maybe they're both my newest addiction. <laughs> I think so. Um, the next is another planner press. Most all of my vellum is from planner press. Actually, this is another dash box. The next section is my bills. And this is an insert that I have been keeping up with. Thankfully, I, I love the system. Basically I write down all of my bills for the month on one side. And then the other side, there's like some notes paper and I write down all the deposits for the month. So every time there's a deposit, I write the date and the amount. And then, you know, I write some other notes, anything that's related to finances or um, anything like that. I will, and like I was planning out some, some how I would work my finances depending on when I was paid, that sort of thing. So I write down notes on the right side. So I love how this works. I'll definitely have the bills insert in my A6. The next is another crossbow, printables, which has ripped, of course. <laughs> um, I got this little fly leaf with the cute little um, page flags. I think it's Heidi Swap. I got it at Hobby Lobby. Then I have a little die cut there. And then this cute little dangle clip is from the Planner Society. I love this one with the pink and gray. My favorite. Heidi Swap. And then next is my dailies. So I don't typically plan in this planner every day or every week. This is my on the go planner and I will write, I will use these daily inserts from Peanuts Planner Co. When I am, when I, when I need to have certain things done at certain times. So, um, this day, I'm not sure if I was out or not, but many times I'll use it when I'm out. And um, I also just have, you know, write some, some things I want to focus on for the day here. And then I was using this side for my daily chore, which is something that I, I like to do because um, I have some pretty serious health issues, which is why Purpose Papery, of course, exists. So I'm grateful for that. <laughs> but... Um, Cleaning my house is actually very difficult on me physically, so I try to do a chore every day. And a lot of times it's it's small because, um, and I'm, I'm very grateful that my mom also helps me with cleaning. I'm so grateful for that because I'm not able, so she'll, you know, come over and help. <laughs> um, I'm so grateful for that. But, um, so yeah, that's how I use those inserts. Basically when I'm just on the go and I have errands and several places I want to go. 
that sort of thing. So yeah, the free printable from Peanuts Planner Co. Facebook group. The next is my doctor visits. So basically just keeping track of, you know, when the kids or, the kids or I have appointments. Then this is a goals section, little tab tab divider. Um, I have not really utilized this. This was going to be a place to messily jot down ideas before I make my mission board goals spreads for the month, but I haven't really done that yet. Um, so I'm not sure if this will move on, you know, move into my A6 or well, but, or, or not, but I do really love these inserts. And I did use these a little bit. I just kind of wrote like, if there's certain things that happen on certain days, I wrote that down. And then, um, you know, a, a schedule, which there's not really too many things that need to happen at certain times each day. But um, so I'm not sure if this will move in either, but I really love this printable. And um, here is a page marker that I made that I really love. So this was acetate from Hobby Lobby, I believe, or maybe Michael's. I've had it for a while. Um, and I put a target dollar spot, but I slid it down the edge so that I could fit more die cuts in it um, because I wanted to fit the Fox and Pip planner and Fox and Pip girl. Then I have a banana doodle shop sampler. This was something I can't remember. I think it's a Maggie Holmes little page tag. And then these, the beautiful girl, the stickers are from the Planner Society. I made the pin loop and I actually used to have these in my shop. They may be returning at some point, but then stickers from the Planner Society and Rose Gold, the a Grin and Barrett sampler, create with pen, little Tinta with her glasses. How stinking cute is she? Um, a Grumpy Bear sticker co die cut and another banana doodles i absolutely love this it's like all my favorite shops many of my favorite shops <laughs> next is another crossbows printables here is a list and the next is a list section and i have a brain dump trigger list and a list to keep on hand both of these I found on the ViennaOrtizPlans.com blog. Um, these are really great, really great trigger list to help you think of. Okay, I'm back again. <laughs> Another interruption because my, my iPhone ran out of space. It's been so funny recording these videos because <laughs> I've had to start over a few times. I uploaded the wrong I, I, the last recorded, the last video that I recorded, I recorded one last night and I ended up doing it vertically instead of horizontally. So I'm doing it over today. <laughs> it's been funny. Um, I guess I need some lessons in patience. So back to where we were. Um, I just had to delete a bunch of, of things off of my phone and hopefully we can get this finished now. So yes, that is the list there. And then I have, um, a little sub tab for my to-do list. This was a printable from wonderful.com and these are really handy to have. Then I have my to buy list, which of course is also really handy to have when I am out and about. Next is the grocery guide, which is a free printable from the Peanuts Planner Co. blog. I'm sorry, Facebook group. And the idea that I have for this is to just make it into like a running list of what we use most frequently. So the groceries that we like to keep on hand and then separate them by categories. So like proteins, um, you know, veggies, that sort of thing, um, any type of pantry items. And then that way I can, when, um, when it's time for groceries, I'll know okay, it's kind of good to be triggered about the things that we have, we'd like to have on hand. This piece of acetate is another one from the planner press box. Next is the notes section. And I just have this for some running, um, you know, just basically to jot down anything that I need to. This is a printable from my newest addiction and I absolutely love it. I love the look of notebook paper. 
I actually printed it in grayscale because I love it as, as gray, but um, I think it's in blue, which is also really pretty. But. Then we have vellum from Planner Press again. You can see I punched some of these wrong, which was kind of sad, but I'm still using them. Next is my passwords, something that I also use very frequently. And many people will say actually to not take your passwords with you on the go. I've heard some other planner girls say that, and that's a very good point. However, I cannot tell you how many times I am out and about and I need to know a password. So that's why they're there. <laughs> um, and I will just pray that I never ever lose my planner. If I do, I will have to change all of my passwords. <laughs> then we have another crossbows printable vellum. And last is my, this is a little top loading pocket insert um, from Filofax that I also purchased from Amazon. I just keep some of my little sticker business cards. And then there's a banana doodle shop die cut. And then underneath there is my driver's license. And then here's the Hobby Lobby vellum and um, paper again, and Fox and Pip and Powder World. And also I actually like to keep a key in my planner. And this has been so handy, you guys. Anytime I can't find my keys in my handbag <laughs> or, um, you know, anytime that if, this hasn't happened yet, thankfully, but if I um, am out and say I lose my keys or I lock my keys in the car, something like that, I will always know where I can find a key. And I love having it here. Um, it's, it's really very useful and it still closes and I can see that this got, this got a little wet, some water spilled. That's why that's there. So it's definitely time to change out these dashboards anyway. But yeah, the key, I mean, it still closes. Um, this is actually just a valet key, so if you have just one single key, really handy to keep in your planner. Then in the back, I just have the same paper that I shared about earlier, a sparkly paper cone die cut. I love her. Um, and then this is actually a, a little clip that was from Sweet Kawaii Clips. She, um, my friend Sienna, she doesn't have the shop at the moment, but she had the most adorable things, so... I hope she reopens again one day. Then my pen is from Paper Source, and I just have my credit and debit cards there in the back. And then um, here's a little, I have a little Fox and Pip bill there, but then in the back I just have receipts, and um, I have a keto grocery list from when I was doing keto. I have some envelopes if I ever need to have on when I'm out and some checks and that's pretty much it. I love having a back pocket so much. So that is a flip of my beloved Filofax Caraco. I absolutely love her. She feels amazing and so squishy. I just love her. She'll be going on the shelf as of now. Um, although I do love her so much, I may try to think of another, another use for her, but I'm definitely not getting rid of her. I absolutely love her. And that is that. So thank you guys again so much for joining me. I would love if you like and subscribe if you feel so led. I do hope to be coming back more frequently with more videos and I have some other, some other exciting plans in, in mind for um, some motivational, inspirational type of videos and to help with goal setting, that sort of thing, since goal setting is kind of my thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, I love you guys and I will be back soon, hopefully with a flip of the mochi before I change out the setup in her as well. Talk to y'all soon. Bye.